It all started with uh, a couple molds and uh, going to the uh, grocery store for a pound of wax. In the 70s, I, I was a wholesale business. Uh, after, after the 120,000 candles and then some other orders for 15 and 20,000 candles, um, I came out with my own line of silhouettes, which um, were mountain scenes and African scenes and depicted on candles when I started to go around the country to sell them. Um, and I had 600 accounts at that time uh, in 1979. But then the oil embargo hit, which, which uh, changed the waxes. You couldn't get wax. And so I, I got out of that and just became local um, at, at that point. When I started my business, I never anticipated anything other than being excited and doing the best I could do. So I think that my future plans are being excited and doing the best I can do. I had been working at Wax and Candles. My first shift, I was 16, my first counter shift. Um, so that would be 11 years ago. Um, but I've been sweeping the floors and breaking down cardboard and um, doing that pretty much since I was, I don't know, nine or 10. Uh, I've been at Wax and Candles for 16 years. Um, and I started when I was a student, part-time, and uh, like most people who work here, I fell in love with it, <laughs> and uh, here I am. Now Lawrence has changed a lot. The core is still the same, but Lawrence has changed a lot just because it's gotten bigger, um, just like the university has changed in the last uh, 45 years. Um, but you know, the, the core is still the same. The emphasis on the city are a lot the same. Um, so, so things change and, and they stay the same. You know, it, it's, it, it just doesn't change, it, it morphs. When I first started hanging around here, when I remembered it was very hippy-dippy, the, there was tapestries all over the ceiling, a um, lot of incense, there was always incense burning and stuff like that, and we've kind of streamlined and brought it into the 20 teens. Um, we've got a brand new website, so waxmancandles.com, check it out. Like, it's what, like, business should be, you know? Like, you work hard and stuff, but you also, like, have fun and make fun of each other and have a good time and, and be creative, you know? Um, and, like, do cool stuff with the community, like, with you guys and donate candles to other organizations to help out and, you know, so do a lot of different things, um, but... Yeah, I like that it's not corporate and I can wear a hoodie to work with a wolf shirt, you know, and we can listen to our own music. I guess my favorite part about working, when I said working with my coworkers, is that I've known them for so long and I've been here for so long, my input is valuable, which, you know, is, is nice when you go to a place and then people listen to what you have to say.